You may have seen previous videos of my vintage 90s portable car phone functioning thanks to my custom external Bluetooth adapter. But we don't need this monstrosity anymore, because I have a new design that fits entirely inside the original phone with no external wires attached. First let's see it in action, then we'll take it apart and see what's inside. Welcome to Collar Notes, your emergency hall and notes helpline. To hear one on one, it's disassembly time. First, handset's completely original, not modified at all. This is called the transportable cover. It originally held the battery pack and battery charging circuitry, but that's not what's in there anymore. So I hid a Bluetooth module inside of the battery pack. This is the actual Bluetooth chip and uses the original connector to connect to the main board inside of the transceiver. I had to put the Bluetooth module inside this plastic case so that the signals would not be blocked by the metal case. And this is the transceiver itself. As you can see, it looks just like an original transceiver with external power supply, the phone cord jack, and an external microphone jack. Looks completely unmodified. Inside of the transceiver is all of my custom electronics. First, we have some rechargeable lithium ion battery cells. This is an off the shelf lithium ion battery module that handles charging the cells and providing power to the rest of the board. And then most of the magic happens right here with a connection to the Bluetooth module and a connection to the handset. All of these connectors are similar to the original connectors on the car phone, positioned exactly in the same place, so there's no difference between this and the original car phone from the outside. And bringing it all together, here's the Bluetooth module connected to my custom circuit board and the transceiver. We'll plug the handset in. So this is all my own custom electronics, completely in control of the handset. Stay tuned for more updates. I'm not quite done, but I'm getting close.